Hello and welcome to another tutorial sort of guide. Uh, this one is to do with the navigation map and a few of the shortcuts for jumping to modules that you may not be aware of yet. Now, on the majority of times you can do a scan and a scan rarely shows anything and sometimes you can do a scan and it shows nothing at all. Now, in this little video that I've done here now, uh, you'll see there are a few ways of getting around that one is by a relog, but you shall see. I shall uh, give you a bit of a run through on how it's done, but once you've been somewhere, you've given the scan, it doesn't show much. You can then go to the parent view and click on the planet, click on the number of items that it shows and it gives you a detailed list of everything that's there but not from a distance so you have to jump to where you're going and do a scan and then go to parent view now like for instance I'm just about to jump to a neighbouring planet it will be a shortened version I'm going to um, shortcut the jump a bit so it doesn't make this video such a long drag as some of mine really have been seriously long but um, yeah, an hour plus was a little bit too much so I managed to narrow this down to around about 15 minutes hopefully okay so first off when jumping plotting your jump you create a custom orbit and then you can see the direction that your jump is arriving from so you can rotate the orbit so it's in parallel with your jump so that pretty much you're jumping onto the planet side on so there's no chance of you smashing into the planet if you set it as a standard ring orbit so if you set it to 90 degrees and then rotate it to the direction that you're traveling the flat side facing towards it where you're traveling you've got no problems about having any interactions with planets which can be quite a pain quite a few people complaining about mid FTL jump deaths and stuff. Majority of the time it's when they're actually landing at the target planet but they haven't taken into account that it plotted a course through the planet rather than round the edge of it. So this way putting it at a 90 degree angle and then facing it flat towards the direction you're travelling from there is no chance of you actually hitting the planet. Anyway, we're just about to make a jump shift to stabilize, stop you from any movement direction and wait for the M to go yellow and hit the J key. I've shortened this down a little bit so it doesn't have to wait too long. And here we go, we'll be jumping shortly. Things can be further away than expected, so just 
always better to zoom out a little bit. You can always zoom back in. Now when you're zoomed in, you've got all these nice little targets. If you notice, every single one of these ones are all showing derelict. is if you can't see any modules that are actually worth any bother with what you do is just click to parent and then click on the planet below your triangle and then click the small number beside it and then it gives you a detailed list of all the modules and not all of them are derelicts as you can see interesting but they're definitely not all showing derelict as you can see so what we'll do is we'll right click on the CM I want to go to click warp and you can do it straight from this screen here from the outer view click engage and there we go we all we've got to do is align for the manoeuvre didn't have to click on any of the orbit lines in the close view map and make the jump is a lot easier to find an exact module than to jump around module to module to find out which ones there is. This is more of a shortcut. You can find out exactly what modules are in the planet just by zooming out to parent and clicking on the number beside the planet's name or moon's name and you can see exactly what modules are around in orbit. So there we go. Works every time. We wanted to go to a CM, and I'll cut this jump short. And we shall be there very shortly. Bit of lag, as expected. Got a nice little loading thing down in the bottom right. Now, once we've interacted with the radar again. The contacts list updates. And there we have it. Look at that. There's a nice CM look in there. Hit the old dock and dock with it. Now you can do this with every every jump. Not every jump will show you detailed modules once you jump to a planet on every scan. So what you do have to do is make sure. If it doesn't show, log out, log back in again, and rescan, and then the modules turn up. It's a slight bug in the game, but it's only a minor one. It just takes you have to click a couple of buttons to log out and log back in again. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen quite often. Currently, in this current build, so as you see, we'll just uh, dock with the CM. We'll jump to another location. Now this is a continuation, a, a shortened variant of uh, what I normally do. I normally dock all my starter modules together, dock my ship to my airlock module, raid all of the gear out of the starter modules and f fuels using the outpost cargo panel, transfer it all to the ship so that absolutely everything is on the ship. Go out, then you can undock, go and raid the derelict, get all the bits from there and put them back into your ship. So you've got a whole ship maxed out with fuels, maxed out with loads of gear, three suits plus the one you're wearing, you know, you've got plenty of spares. Then make a jump, find a CM, dock with it, then jump to a, a neighbouring moon and try and find an outpost. The minute you find that there's usually two or three modules together so once you've grappled the CM jump it to an outpost which you can instantly make your own home base again it's like an instant base build but with a CM on the top rather than jumping one hour one way and then one hour back to your home base why not just create the base new base at the one hour away jump that you've just made which as it stands is what I usually do I usually just raid everything, vampire, play vampire mule all my gear, get it all into my mule, and make the 
jump. Because we always seem to find CMs are always further away, never around never around Beth here unless you're super super lucky. Depending on the spawns that you have when you spawn into game. But I, eight out of ten times I've always had to jump to other planets to find a CM. So I've made it a habit now. Okay, now we've docked with the CM. What we do is we'll uh, do a scan and see what moons we have close by because we know there aren't any outposts around this planet that we're at. So, okay, this one's the closest. We'll jump to that one. Create a custom orbit. Same again, put it at 90 degrees, stretch it out so that it's even, and then incline. 90 degrees. And, well, this one's already facing pretty much where I'm going to be jumping from, so that's pretty handy. What we do is click a warp, we can see the direction we're travelling. Yeah, we're not going to be colliding with a planet or anything, so that's all good. Just adjust the times down a little and uh, manoeuvre for the jump. This one's been shortened again, so Jake Ian wants to be tab. And then, so you can't tap any other keys whilst you're in the pilot mode because it can stop your jump. So that's another thing just to be aware of. Once you've actually set your course, hit the J key. Always remember to hit the tab key, and then you've got no chance of breaking your FPL. This one was shortened. Good old video editing, it's all good. And what we do is go back to the nav map. Remove the custom orbit, do a scan, and same again it looks like, no, we actually got some this time, it's all good, there we go, so as we're looking around again, there's quite a few different outposts, but not super clear, I mean, quite a lot of derelicts as you can see, so what we'll do is zoom back to parent again, scroll out a little bit, see the planet or moon, see our triangle is above, click on it, click on the small number in the circle beside it, and wow, look at that, um, see, didn't show that many looking at the plot, at the thing, but once we actually scroll down, there we go, there's a few outposts and bits and bobs, and it's got quite a high number, so it's a recent spawnish, so yeah, we'll right click that, plot a course to jump to that one. So that will be us with a CM and an outpost within two jumps, which is very handy. And the trick is finding the modules by using the zoom to parent, click on the planet that your triangle is above, and then click on the round number, and it will show exactly how many and what type of modules there are, which is very, very handy indeed which not many people know about so I thought I'd make this video to let you guys know and girls because I know a few that play as well so it's all good okay and shortened jump that's always we jump to the outpost which in turn has other modules beside it. Let's see what ones turn up when we get there. Access the pilot radar that updates and ooh, look what we have here. That's uh, very interesting indeed. So we'll scroll around and have a look. And I seem to see outpost. Some CQMs, so there we go. I've got a base now with a command post, an outpost, a command module, an outpost, and two CQMs. Can't be that. Two jumps, instant base build. All I have to do is jump away and get myself uh, an airlock. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and entertaining, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like if you do wish to. Thank you very much for your time. Bye now.